Hello there, Matt with Limbit here, and today I wanted to share with you a, a fun little project that I've been working on in between stuff um, where I took some of these Libre computer boards, um, they're small single board computers, and installed Limbit software on them um, and created a little little mini mini computer cluster. How I pitched it to my boss was that it would demonstrate our ARM support, our it would use the PPA that we have available for our Ubuntu users, so uh, our dedication to the open source community, as well as you know uh, highlighting our software's low resource utilization because these small boards they have they do have quad core ARM processors, but only two gigs of RAM, so they're not not beefy by any means. Um, very carby potato joke. Uh, any, anyway. Um, you know, there's various distributions available for these guys. I use the Ubuntu one here um, just because Linbit packages our software in a PPA for Ubuntu users. And we do that for the latest two LTS releases of Ubuntu. So Jammy and Focal um, are the latest at this time. Um, and I took what I did and what I've used to stand this cluster up and I put it in a GitHub repo so you can do this you can, you can reproduce this at home if you'd like um, or just check out you know the details of how I deployed it and you know change it for your environment or, or your test clusters uh, needs but let me show you my cluster here and my little demo space um, so these are my this is my potato cluster it's actually sitting right next to me with a <laughs> A little 3d printed potato model uh, that I, I just threw in there but um, on these three hosts you'll see or maybe you, you can kind of see that I have two USB sticks hanging off the back of two of them um, these are going to be used by Linstore and DRBD as backing storage for our, our replicated volume um, and I've used DRBD Reactor, um, a cluster resource manager that Linbit has recently released um, to make a, an Apache web server HA. Um, and you'll see that web server, or the website that's being served by that web server um, right above me here. Um, and that's auto-refreshing every five seconds um, and clearing cache while it does it, so making sure we get the latest version. Um, and the the data that that the actual website is being replicated by drbd and drbd was deployed via linstore so um that's a lot of stuff but we have a linstore cluster here potato zero that's this guy up top this is our linstore controller um and potato one and potato two you know just zero one two down the stack and if we look, we have a, a Linstore resource deployed. That's a shorthand for resource list. Um, and we see that it's in use here on potato one. So this is the uh, potato that's currently hosting our website. And if we look, I added this to Dearbody Reactor. And we can see, clear that up a little bit, that here on potato one, this is where our services are running. Um, and, you know, just to zoom back out for a second, we're inactive on all these other nodes. Um, yeah, so the Ansible playbook sets this all up for us. But if we wanted to demonstrate, you know, that how this is actually working and, and DVD actually replicating data, we could edit the file that's being um, displayed by our web server. I think I kept it in a folder called demo. Aha, demo. And let's just change the, the title here to potato cluster demo fun whatever, right? And we should see when this page refreshes we got a new title, our data is 
was saved here, replicated everywhere by DRBD. Um, and, you know, that's that's the replication piece, but what about the, the HA aspect of that, that uh, this cluster? That's DRBD Reactor's job. So what DRBD Reactor is going to watch for is a change in the DRBD ADM or DRBD state. So it's going to watch for the DRBD device to become available for use. So right now we, we saw in the LinStore view that we have a resource in use and that we're unused everywhere else. If that state changes, and the device is able to be promoted somewhere else, um, then DRBD Reactor will start a race on both Potato Zero and Potato Two in this case, and try to promote the resource. Whichever node becomes promoted will take over services there. So why don't we just do a DRBD Reactor control status, and we'll watch. We'll watch this on all nodes. So then over on my potato cluster, I've got some power switches that you might not be able to see over here. I'm going to figure out which one belongs to potato one. I think I found it <laughs> and I'm going to click it. So we're now, you know, dead on potato one. <clears throat> this terminal is just, you know, we're waiting for this to time out. But we can see in our other terminals time incrementing and we see we've become active down here on potato two. And if we look at our website here, we're refreshing the page. The page seemingly never went down, um, but we do know that there was a couple seconds there while, while we failed services over. Um, yeah, but our, our site is there. So let's go ahead and power up our sec or potato one. <clears throat> and while we're doing that, we can switch from this reactor control to a dear ADM status. And we'll watch that and we'll see <clears throat> once that potato boots that it starts a resync process of anything that has changed while DRBD, while DRBD was down. Should be pretty quick because nothing really changed. Um, but DRBD does have like a bitmap that, that is uh, considered like a hot area of the disk. We'll need to sync that. Um, we see the broken pipe so we know that potato one is on its way up. And there we go, we see some resync process happening in the background. And once that's back, oh, I had a while loop shelling me into this, so. Stop broadcasting. We see the dear bitty ADM state there. Check Linstore's perspective and we see we're in use on potato two. And just to be sure, we will check DRBD Reactor and make sure that our services are only active on the nodes we expect them to be, being specifically potato two in this case. And we see that there. And yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the whole demo. That's all I really wanted to show you. Um, and again, I think this highlights really well how uh, little resources DRBD and Linbits software actually needs uh, to, to create a functioning server cluster. Um, and yeah, I guess if you have any feedback or any you know other fun projects that you've created using um, our open source software, then reach out and let us know because uh, you know we love to hear what interesting things our users are doing with our software. Um, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.